That's right guys, today we are going to be focusing on block palette once again, but today I'm going to be going over the top 10 block palettes that I use and the top 10 block palettes that I really think are the best in the game. Now before we get into these top 10, I just want to show you how I come up with the block palette for my builds. Basically I'll start with a base block, say oak. That's what I want my base color of my house or whatever I'm building to be. Then I get an accent color, something like dark oak or something that contrasts with it really well. And then I mix in some texture. As you can see, we use the planks to add texture here and we mix it in like this and it looks much better. The final thing I do is add in an accent color. Now this block palette obviously doesn't have it because we don't have space for all that, but something like what we'd use for the roof or extra details for a pop of color. Maybe we'd use bricks in this instance or something like that just to make the color pop out a little bit. So now that you know how I make my block palettes, let's get into the top 10 block palettes. And I just dug a hole. So here we are at number 10 and I have a build to go with each of these block palettes. And I just want to mention real quick that this is not perfectly in order. This is not, you know, top 10. The first one is my favorite block palette ever. It's kind of out of order and you can obviously make up one for yourself. But this block palette consists of the classic stone bricks. We mixed in with some stone texturing with andesite and normal stone. And then we have spruce, the lovely spruce and the accent color I was talking about. This time we have two different colors of terracotta. We have gray and brown to kind of, you know, work on the roof color. And here is the build to go with it. And this is a nice medieval build. I have builds of all sorts of styles in this video as well but yeah this is a simple medieval build with a great medieval block palette and i would honestly say you can switch out the roof color for anything and i just love this block palette it's a go-to one for me and if you want to find this build i have a tutorial for it on my channel now number two we're starting with kind of a weird one i don't think you would have expected this unless you saw one of my older series where we had a survival base that was Greek themed, but what we're working with here is sandstone and to work in some texture in the sandstone, we've got smooth sandstone and normal sandstone to go with it. Stripped birch is also incredible for desert style builds and then bricks for the roof, obviously, if we're going for that Greek style. And then acacia also is a great detail, mainly acacia trapdoors for the windows, as you can see our little build right here. And obviously greenery is a huge part of this block palette as well. You know, vines and leaves should have been right here also. But here we are. This is my little, you know, Greek hut area here. I had this in my survival series on uh, one of my SMPs, my very first SMP. You guys can go back and watch that if you want. But this is, uh, this is a really cool block palette. I love using this in the desert. And if you get a bunch of houses like this all together in a desert, it looks very nice. But let's move on to number eight. Once again, one of my favorites, using a lot of different types of wood here. We're working with not only just oak and spruce, but also spruce logs. Now this is kind of a log cabin type of build, and I love this texturing here. And then obviously we have the greenery. So let's show you the build, here it is. This is my lake house build. Again, there's a tutorial for this one as well. I'm reusing a lot of my builds because obviously they have block palettes that I Enjoy. Now, here we're working with an all wooden house and it's kind of hard to do that sometimes and obviously it does work though. And then down here we can add an even more texture using beehives along with our oak in this. And I just love this block palette. All wood fits perfectly in, you know, the forest or again, lakeside, something like that. Great build. Let's move on to number seven. I know there's a group of people out there that this is their favorite. We got modern guys and obviously we have the classic cyan terracotta and the white concrete mixed in with some wood of your choice. I like spruce or dark oak and then we have the leaves for details and the black glass. I love black stained glass in modern and here we are with the build. Now modern is just for me at least when I build modern a bunch of squares and rectangles tossed together and I think it looks good. Huge windows and even end rods for some lighting, the bushes for details and just a lot of glass and cool sharp structures. I love this build and this block palette is super useful if you're going for a modern type of build. This has to be one of the most underrated looking block palettes ever. The dark oak mixed with the warp and the other blue colors here and then the stone at the bottom. And I think you guys know what build this is gonna be if you've watched my videos before. Here we are, my latest survival starter base right here. And there's a lot going on here, but obviously the bulk of the block palette is that stone base like we talked about, the wooden details, and then the accent color, which is these blues. Now, obviously we have this block palette has a gradient. We go from the warped planks to the stripped warped, and then up here to the light blue concrete powder, which I know it might be a weird thing to build with, but 
it works out well look at that i love this build very very much and this block palette is extremely underrated using one of the newest blocks in the game the deep slate mixed in with the cobbled deep slate and some normal cobblestone and just a lot of spruce and leaves and nature on top of it gets us something like this i love this build it's a little farmhouse kind of build that i had in my survival series i love this little thing and it uses some of the best blocks this deep slate is incredible especially with wood spruce wood is amazing with the deep slate and you guys have to try building with it i love this block palette and i've been using it a lot more recently so hopefully you guys like this one you know i'm noticing a pattern with these block palettes it seems like spruce just never seems to go away but the spruce and stone method is incredible especially with this purple and magenta terracotta we get a beautiful tower like this and i know this block palette is a little bit repetitive but i just love the way this one looks i had to throw it in there trust me this is a fun one guys i really like this and the chains up the tower and then we're also using some of this right here the glow light, light chin however you say but this is a sick block palette. I love this one a lot. And the colorful roofs is one of my favorite ways to build. You can tell I like terracotta for my roofs because we have it again here. But we're also using diorite, one of the most hated blocks in the game. Obviously now we could switch that out for some calcite as well. But then we have the logs on the sides. And we get a nice looking little medieval house. And some of you might remember this build as well. Let me know if you do. But we have this nice little build. I love the white of the diorite obviously I have it also mixed in here with white concrete now i'd probably this is an older build and i'd probably switch that out for calcite or something but this is a very simple build now obviously we could use stone bricks or something instead but the white there's just some powerful contrast about it that i really like up against the dark logs now this is our final two block palettes and the one behind me is actually the original build from this builders academy world you probably know what i'm talking about it is a big school academy and this is the block palette we're using for it look we're using the bricks and the granite mixed in together as you can see and then we're also using acacia as you can see and finally we have some red sandstone in there for the walls and other details and obviously a lot of plant life and leaves now we also have some stone mixed in here as well at the top up there and we also have some other plants and stuff but this build is awesome i love it so much this was back when i wasn't too great of a builder and i'm actually really proud of how this came out i've always loved this build and i just think it's really cool this block palette is so underrated it might seem like there's a lot of orange and red going on but as you can tell it somehow all comes together very nicely and i'm proud of this build very much but guys it's time to move on to number one and number one is actually my favorite block palette in the game and we're actually gonna have to leave the builders academy world and switch over to a different there she is what a beautiful block palette we have the dark black stone mixed in with the normal stone bricks which gives a nice gray and black contrast and the beautiful warped colors mixed in with the dark prismarine as you can see guys this forms an amazing build i've used this way back since the beginning of my youtube channel and we used it to make this my proudest build ever this is my enormous dark dragon castle build and as you can see we utilize that exact block palette throughout this entire thing now there's obviously some more going into this like there's some lighter blues and things like that and some diorite but guys for the most part the dark colors contrasting with the gray behind it and then the bright blue and green roofs is just incredible this block palette is my absolute favorite in the game and i just love it for some reason the way the green stands out is just amazing i love it i hope you guys like this build just as much as i do and you know this took me a long time and i think i chose the right block palette because if i had chose a bad block palette and i put all the time in this build it would not look quite as good but hopefully you guys use this block palette if you haven't already so with that i hope you guys enjoyed today's video about block palette kind of an advanced guide of my top 10 block palettes as a builder so hopefully you guys are able to put some of these to use and if you aren't in my discord go ahead and join and send me your builds we're going to be doing a rate my build video soon and i want to see you guys use some of these block palettes especially this one behind me so i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching peace out